And at this time, we've had the children come up uh, for our children's uh, message. All right. Does anyone have this book, by the way? Have you ever seen this book? I know it's, um, it's Reformation Day, so, you know, as a Lutheran church, uh, it's all because of um, this man, Martin Luther, that we, we celebrate this day about being the one who stood for the truth. Now, I'm just going to read a couple pages. Who likes reading books? Yes? Yes? Now, Martin Luther was a great man. He did many things. He was a smart man. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did so many things, and, you know, I'm just going to read a couple uh, pages here for you, so... Uh, please listen in. This is right here. It says, Martin did not wish to displease his father. Right? This is Martin Luther right here. He wanted to live a holy life. You know what a holy life is? Yeah, okay, yeah, kind of. Does anyone else know what a holy life is all about? Yeah, Jesus. Well, Martin Luther <laughs> wanted to live a perfect life without sin. He tried to do his best to live his life without sin. So what did he do? He tried to become a monk. A monk who kind of separates himself from society and lives in this place where he would pray long hours, he worked hard, and he studied <coughs> constantly. But what did he find? As he was trying to be perfect, he found that he couldn't be perfect. That sin was still there. But then, as he was studying and trying to be the perfect person, his life changed. And this ruler called Frederick the Wise, a very good man, had established a university in Wittenberg where there he called Luther to be a professor. Now, as he studied, what happened? Now, today, um, I know we, we made these things, but uh, we'll talk about it in a little bit. But what do you think he's doing right here? What do you think he's doing? He's hanging something out. What is he holding? Uh, a hammer. What does a hammer do? I know your dad does a lot of that. So what does a hammer do? It pounds in the nails. pounds in the nails, right? What do you think he's pounding in? What, is, what do you think he's pounding in right there? Uh, paper. A piece of paper, right? Now this paper he pounds in because, well, when he looked at the church, at the Catholic church, he saw a lot of things that were, well, a little bit, a little bit off. And there, when we talk about the truth, Martin Luther did this. Because at the time, as we say here, the church of his time taught that the punishments for sin in a place called purgatory could be removed if people bought what were called indulgences. We can go on days for days to talk about that, but we won't. Martin studied the Bible... But he could not find these words or concepts of purgatory or indulgences. These teachings were not God's teachings. And so when a man named Tetzel tried to sell such indulgences near Wittenberg, it was too much for Luther to bear. The thing is, when Luther saw what the Catholic Church was doing, and he looked at the Bible, he says, i got to say something. I really do. i got to say something to tell the people what the truth is. And the truth is, at the end of the day, Jesus, <coughs> here he nails on the walls, on the store of Castle Church in Wittenberg, the truth about what Jesus had done. All the things that he saw that was against the scriptures, he wrote down on this paper called the 95 Theses. He hammered them, boom, 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 on this wall, and there he stood for the truth. Now Luther would face a lot of people who were against him after this. I mean, he was fearful of his life. People were after him, and even his own life they were after. But yet, what did Luther do? He stood for the truth. The truth is Jesus, right? The one who sets you free from sin, death, and the power of the devil. There's no other truth, you guys. And that's what Luther stood for. And that's what we stand for this day, as we remember <clears throat> what this Reformation Day is all about. <clears throat> It's all about Jesus, and only Jesus, and forever will it be only about Jesus, today, tomorrow, and forever. This is what our church is about, the death and resurrection, the one who died and rose for you, and gave you the forgiveness of sin, only Christ. He gave you eternal life, only Christ. And he gives you salvation, only Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, O Lord. 
We know that you are the truth, the truth that sets us free. We know that by your grace we are saved through faith. Bless these children always to know that truth is Christ, and that their faith may always reside in this truth. Bless them by the Spirit, guide them in your word, and O oh Lord, lead them in the joy that is of this gospel, the good news, the salvation, the forgiveness of sins. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.